Imagine going from total beginner to printing flawless, colorful 3D models in under 15 minutes. Not someday in the future, right now, in 2025. 3D printing has finally delivered on its promise, but there's a catch most reviewers won't mention. One of these printers is so good it's making the rest look outdated. Another, a complete waste of money, even with thousands of glowing reviews. I've tested five of the top beginner-friendly printers released this year and what I found could save you hundreds of dollars and hours of frustration. Stick around to find out which one came out on top, because it's probably not the one you think. And just a heads up, I've added links to every printer mentioned in this video down below, including updated prices and more details. Let's get into it. Just a couple of years ago, 3D printing was a hobby for tech-savvy tinkerers. Setting up a printer meant hours of calibration, frustration, and failed prints. But in 2025, that's changed. Today's machines are true plug and play. Auto bed leveling is now standard. Print speeds have doubled or even tripled. And multicolor printing, once exclusive to high-end industrial machines, is finally accessible to everyday users. Now, before we dive into the top five printers, here are the five things every beginner should look for. An easy setup, consistent print quality, fast performance with useful features, beginner-friendly software, and real value for your money. Let's see which printer checks the most boxes. When Bamboo Lab entered the scene, they redefined what we expect from a consumer 3D printer. The A1 Mini proves they're still leading the way. It's priced at $250 for the standalone version, or $400 with the AMS Lite system. You get a build volume of 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters, a top print speed of 500 millimeters per second, and compatibility with PLA, PETG, and TPU filaments. What stands out right away is the setup. I was printing my first model just 12 minutes after unboxing. No calibration, no tweaking, it just worked. Add the AMS light and suddenly this compact printer becomes a multicolor powerhouse. Up to four colors, no manual filament swaps, and it all runs automatically. You also get built-in Wi-Fi control and a camera for remote monitoring, both impressive extras at this price. There are limitations, of course. The build volume is the smallest on our list. There's no enclosure, so certain materials may be harder to print. And the AMS light wastes a bit of filament during color changes. But the print quality? Absolutely stunning. Uh, even at high speeds, the A1 Mini consistently delivered polished, detailed prints. For beginners who want a frustration-free experience with professional-level results, this is a fantastic place to start. Creality's Ender series has long been the go-to for affordable 3D printing, and the V3SE keeps that legacy going strong. At just $199, it offers a larger build volume than the Bamboo, 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters, a maximum print speed of 250 millimeters per second, and support for PLA, PETG, TPU, and even ABS if you use an enclosure. You're getting a lot for the price. The direct drive extruder handles various filaments with ease, and while the setup takes a bit more effort, about 25 minutes, it's still very manageable for beginners. Auto bed leveling is included and generally works well, though it might need the occasional tweak. One of its biggest advantages, the massive user community. If you ever run into trouble or want to start modifying your printer, there are countless guides, forums, and tutorials to help you out. Of course that there are trade-offs. There's no built-in Wi-Fi, the interface feels a bit dated, and you'll need to do some occasional maintenance. It's also not as fast or refined as the bamboo. Still, for under $200, the V3 SE delivers reliable, high-quality prints and a great platform for learning. If you're on a budget and want to get hands-on with 3D printing, this one's a smart choice. Next up is the Cobra 3 Combo from Anycubic a direct competitor to Bamboo's multicolor lineup. Priced at $450, it offers a spacious build volume of 250 by 250 by 260 millimeters, a top speed of 600 millimeters per second, and support for PLA, PETG, TPU, and ABS. On paper, it's a beast. You get fast speeds, a multicolor Ace Pro system, and even a filament dryer included in the box. Setup was straightforward, taking about 30 minutes. At regular speeds, print quality was excellent, but when pushed to its maximum speed, results started to suffer. 
The Ace Pro color system works but wastes more filament during color changes compared to Bamboo's AMS, and the integration doesn't feel quite as seamless. The biggest drawback? The software. Anycubic's slicer is functional but clunky. It's not as polished or beginner-friendly as others. Wi-Fi is included, but I had a few connection drops during longer prints. That said, the included filament dryer is a nice bonus. It helps maintain print quality, especially helpful if you're storing filament in a humid space. So, if you want large prints, multicolor capability, and don't mind doing a little extra tweaking, the Cobra 3 combo could be a strong contender. Just expect a few trade-offs along the way. Elegoo is best known for its resin printers, but the Neptune 3 Pro shows they know what they're doing with FDM too. It's priced at $250 with a build volume of 225 by 225 by 280 millimeters. It supports PLA, PETG, TPU, and ABS when used with an enclosure, and prints at a max speed of 180 millimeters per second. This one comes nearly assembled, and I was printing within 15 minutes. It's also the quietest printer on this list, ideal for home offices, dorm rooms, or shared spaces. Print quality was consistently good and the extra build height opens the door for taller projects. On the downside, it's the slowest printer here and there's no native Wi-Fi. You'll need to buy an extra module. The slicer software works fine, but feels basic compared to what you get from Bamboo or even Creality. Still, if quiet, reliable performance matters more to you than raw speed, the Neptune 3 Pro is a fantastic option. Flashforge has always prioritized safety and ease of use, especially for families and classrooms, and the Adventurer 5M is no exception. At $299, it comes with a build volume of 220 by 220 by 220 millimeters, a top speed of 300 millimeters per second, and support for PLA, PETG, TPU, and ABS. The standout feature here is the fully enclosed design. It keeps temperature stable for tricky materials like ABS, reduces noise, and adds an extra layer of safety, especially important for younger users. Setup was quick and simple, around 20 minutes. It uses a core XY motion system, which makes movement smoother and faster than more traditional designs. The built-in Wi-Fi worked smoothly, and the included camera gave me a clear view of the print in progress. But it's not perfect. There's no multicolor printing, and the community is smaller than what you'd get with Creality or Bamboo. The software feels a bit outdated too, but it still gets the job done. If safety is a top priority, or you want reliable ABS printing in a school or home setting, the 5M is a solid, well-rounded pick. So, which printer should you go with? For most beginners, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini with the AMS Lite is the top recommendation. It's fast, it's easy, and it prints in multiple colors with zero hassle. Yes, it costs a bit more, but the time and frustration you save make it more than worth it. If you're on a tight budget, go with the Creality Ender 3 V 3SE. It's under 200 bucks, has great community support, and performs better than expected once dialed in. Need to print big? The Anycubic Cobra 3 combo is the way to go. It has the largest build area and throws in multicolor and a filament dryer to sweeten the deal. Want something safe and reliable for the home or classroom? The Flashforge Adventurer. 5M delivers that peace of mind, and if silence is golden for you, the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro is quiet, capable, and beginner-friendly. Whether you're printing your first test cube or jumping into full multicolor models, there's something here for every need and budget. So, which one are you leaning toward? Let me know in the comments. Bamboo's plug-and-play magic or Ender's unbeatable value. If this helped, be sure to like and subscribe for more deep dive reviews and hands-on guides. And if you've got questions about getting started, drop them down below. I read every comment and I'll do my best to help. Until next time, happy printing.